A retired British Army colonel warns that Russian President Vladimir Putin could potentially target the UK in a hypothetical World War III scenario by unleashing a massive radioactive tsunami. The colonel underscores Britain's vulnerability due to its geography and Putin's hostility, particularly regarding the UK's support for Ukraine. During the early stages of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, speculation emerged that Moscow might utilize the RS-28 Sarmat missile to strike the Irish Sea. This missile, if employed, possesses the capability to generate a tidal wave as high as 500 meters, potentially causing catastrophic damage to the UK. So, in today's video, let's explore everything known about Russia's Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile. The RS-28 Sarmat is a Russian heavy intercontinental ballistic missile with a reported range of 18,000 kilometers and the capability to carry a 10-ton payload. This payload consists of more than 10 multiple independent re-entry vehicles accompanied by penetration aids intended to evade missile defenses. Commonly referred to as Satan-2, the missile serves as a replacement for the Soviet-era SS-18 Satan ICBMs. Designed by the Russian Makev State Missile Center and produced by the Krasnoyarsk Machine Building Plant, development of the Sarmat began in 2009. Vladimir Putin unveiled the missile in March 2018 as one of six new Russian strategic weapons. The RS-28 Sarmat conducted its first test flight in late April 2022. On the 16th of August 2022, a state contract was signed for the manufacture and supply of the Sarmat strategic missile system. The missile officially entered combat service in September 2023 as the world's longest range and most powerful ICBM system, according to Russian state media. A Russian military source has also stated that the United States won't be able to develop an effective anti-ballistic missile defense system capable of intercepting Russia's advanced Sarmat ICBM in the next 40 years. How true is this claim? Well, it depends on the characteristics of the Sarmat ICBM, including its reported short boost phase and extremely long range. If the missile can indeed travel over the North or South Poles as suggested, it may exploit vulnerabilities during the boost phase, typically when American missile sensors focus on threats from the North Pole. Currently, existing U.S. missile defense capabilities primarily target rogue states like North Korea and stand little chance of defending against a massive Russian nuclear attack on the American homeland. Now let's take a look at the specifications of the Sarmat ICBM system. The missile of the Sarmat system reportedly weighs 208 tons and has a circular probable error of 500 meters. It measures 35.5 meters in length and 3 meters in diameter. Constructed mainly from aluminum-magnesium alloys, it is durable and lightweight, allowing for a sizable payload. Composite materials are also used to reduce its radar signature. The missile carries multiple targetable re-entry vehicles of varying firepower and dummy targets to confuse enemy defenses. Its payload, exceeding 10 tons, can include up to 15 warheads and a mix of warheads and countermeasures, including the Moser Active Protection System. This system is designed to negate a potential adversary's first strike advantage by discharging a cloud of metal arrows or balls kinetically destroying incoming bombs. The Sarmat missile can reportedly carry three gliding hypersonic avant-garde re-entry vehicles, which pose significant challenges for conventional missile defense due to their maneuverability, high speed, and overall advanced technology. Propelled by a three-stage liquid-fueled engine carrying 178 tons of fuel, the Sarmat missile consumes a significant amount of fuel initially with stages separating until only the payload remains, propelled by accumulated energy. The third stage of Sarmat features four engines generating a thrust of over 100 tons, 
while the second stage utilizes a main engine to accelerate the missile along the trajectory and a smaller four-chamber engine for flight control, enabling a flat trajectory. The RS-99 engines, which are actually an advanced version of the RD-263 engines, provide increased thrust, reducing the duration of the active flight stage and complicating hostile missile defense operations. A specially developed fuel mixture further enhances thrust, extending the missile's range while shortening the active flight section and enabling a speed of over Mach 20. During its first launch in April 2022, Sarmat covered 6,000 kilometers in just 20 minutes before hitting its target at the Kura range in Kamchatka. Its design ensures Sarmat remains in a safe zone during the boost phase, rendering it invulnerable to enemy missile defense systems, targeting ICBMs at their most visible and vulnerable stage. The Sarmat ICBM system uses the same silo launcher units employed by the Voivoda R-36M ICBM. These silos are heavily protected and can withstand a nuclear explosion, the missile is transported either by rail from the production facility to the military unit or via a four-axle trailer towed by an 8x8 heavy truck. The Sarmat missile is launched using the mortar method, where a gunpowder booster ejects it from the silo. Once ejected, the heavy missile hangs approximately 20 meters above the ground momentarily, before igniting its first engine and commencing its flight trajectory. There is no doubt that the Sarmat ICBM is a powerful weapon, capable of carrying between up to 15 re-entry vehicles, each with the potential to unleash up to 750 kilotons of destructive force. To put this into perspective, it surpasses the potency of the atomic bombs deployed over Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II several times over. So, what do you think about Russia's newest ICBM system? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more weekly videos.